Oh, kind of disgusting. Oh, my God. And one. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. Today we've got a very special guest, Mitch Hoopé from the PBA Tour, fellow Canadian, here from Winnipeg, gonna review the Quantum Evo Hybrid. And we're gonna throw it against a Quantum Evo Pearl, just because we think it's a little bit better matchup for Mitch's style and what he likes to see down on the lanes. A little bit about the Quantum, so unlike other brands and balls in the same line, these balls don't have the same core. Yeah, they're almost the same, just a slight variation from the solid to the hybrid to the pearl here because they want to accentuate the difference in reactions. So the solid has the smallest intermediate diff and the pearl has the most. They're changing the core shapes and the covers to give you a bigger difference between the balls so you don't have that much overlap as you would in other balls that have the same name and the same line. So a little bit more about these balls, they both have DOT and Dynamicore 2. And while I was drilling these balls for Mitch, the drill bit went through the ball really easy. Like these are really easy to drill, really easy on the drill bits if you're a pro shop guy. So I enjoy drilling the Brunswick balls, believe it or not. So today on the lanes, Mitch is gonna be bowling on a house pattern and a long pattern just to see the different reactions on both the different lane surfaces. Cause I know most people are bowling on a house condition in their normal leagues. We're gonna throw the hybrid and the pearl on both and see what kind of reactions we get. I know personally, I like smooth rolling bowling balls on a house condition. It smooths out the wet dry. It gives me a little bit better predictability throughout the night. So we're gonna see what Mitch likes on a house pattern. He might like the same thing as me, slow controllable balls or maybe something a little bit sharper down in the back end. So we're gonna see what Mitch likes and we're gonna see what he recommends you use on a house condition as well. So stay tuned for that. So with Mitch Boland, we're gonna see some pretty sick messengers, I think. He's got some pretty sick rev rate, medium to high ball speed. So we're gonna see some pins fly around a little bit. It's gonna be fun to watch. Thanks again to all the members. We're growing every month. If you wanna become a part of the community, hit that join button below, coaching, apparel, etc. Just hit that join button, get in contact with us. We can help you be the best bowler you can be. All right, that's enough from Joel. Let's go to the lanes. What's up guys, Mitcho is back at JR Pro Shop and today we got the brand new Quantum Evo Hybrid. Uh, one of Brunswick's latest releases, kind of following up the ever successful Quantums. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. Today we got House Shot in the left lane, don't know what the name of it is. You can ask the guys that do it all the time. Compare the new hybrid to the older Pearl, and uh, yeah, we'll see how they compare. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the house shot here hooks a good amount. Probably gonna start further left than I would typically on a house shot, especially it's a new ball, uh, solid surface, solider surface. 17 18th arrows, since it is that house shot with that bounce to the right, I'm probably gonna be getting it to like six, seven um, at the break point, so. Yeah, let's see what this does. Ooh, yeah, it's a lot of ball. It's just a little left in the oil. You can probably feed it further right. So I'm going to move one left with my feet and one right with my eyes. Try and just like separate a little more. Water ball. Kind of a gnarly wrap 10 there off the rip, but all right. Kind of like what I see already just off the first few shots. Personally, I like using stronger balls on house patterns, like the bigger ASIMs, um, solid covers, slower covers. Uh, I just kind of fares to my game a little better. So uh, yeah, no, I like this already. Go, I guess, another one and one. See if we can get a little bit of a different entry angle there. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better. I mean, I know it's a house shot and everything, but uh, ball has no problem hooking. That's for dang sure. Let's just throw the pearl from that same spot. Um, and the pearl is a ball that I did throw. Definitely expecting it to be cleaner to the fronts as a pearl normally would be, but I always thought this ball wasn't too quick off the back end like a lot of other pearls. So let's see how it does in the uh, just the same spot. Oh yeah, definitely further right. Yeah. I mean, that ball got way further right, it's way easier. Which, uh, I mean, maybe on this house pattern, since it hooks a little more, it might be a little better. Move another one. Dang. Dude, 
the, that core, those two balls just like truck through the pins. Kind of disgusting. We're just gonna test the waters a little bit. Maybe let's go five. You can see that ball is not getting as far right as the pearl just because it's not really letting itself. But uh, even in the oil, it's still maintaining enough energy to not flat 10 or two pin, which is always great because we love tugging left. Go another two. I mean, I think it's going to hook. Further right. Oh my God. And one. Nothing like the helicopter messenger to start a ball bit off. Let's go. Okay, let's try the pearl from the same spot. I think this one's probably gonna be a little better from deeper. Ooh, yeah, no, it's just sick. They're both pretty nasty right now. Definitely a one-two punch, it seems like. Just with a grittier surface on this one, probably would have started with it. I mean, I'm already pretty far left just in testing, but honestly, I don't even know which one I would throw right now if I were going for a score. The messenger kind of wants me to throw this one. So let's do another one from a little further left with the hybrid again. And I, I like throwing asims on house shot just because it doesn't give you that super quick reaction down lane, I find, as opposed to some of the symmetrical balls, the quicker balls. Yeah, probably shoot 300 right now. Okay, so I think that's enough on the house shot. Let's go to the sport pattern. All right, so question time with Micho. Now my question to you guys is, what kind of balls do you guys like to throw in house shot? Do you like the smoother, stronger balls or do you like to see yourself in something more angular? Personally, like I said, I like the stronger stuff. I like the stronger covers, stronger cores, but uh, yeah, let us know what you guys like. Okay, so now we're gonna go on the challenge pattern, which is a little bit longer. Um, but again, from past experiences that I've had here, I know this house hooks a good amount, so I'm honestly probably gonna stand in the same spot, or at least a similar spot, but I'm just gonna move my eyes left and just play more of the hold, because it's not gonna have that same bounce right like we saw on the, on the house pattern. So probably, again, gonna be around like 17, 18 at the arrows, but uh, I won't be getting it to like seven or six anymore, probably like eight or nine, 10. Um, and this would probably be a ball that I would start typically on a pattern like this with, so. So definitely a little bit more forward with my hand on this. Around like 18, 19 arrows, but yeah, I'm only getting it to 10 maybe, nine. When you go on the longer patterns, sometimes it's kind of dictating to the house you're at. Because this house hooks a lot, you can kind of play left and play the hole. But in some houses, um, you know, you may be on the same pattern, but you're playing up 10 just because of the characteristics. Yeah, I really like what I'm seeing on that one. For sure, just see the tighter line, which is, the, I mean, a major difference or a major comparison between the house and longer pattern or any sport pattern, really, is just the amount of forgiveness you have, the amount of, like, separation you have between uh, where you're standing and your break point. Yeah, missed right. I think I just need to kind of dial in my speed. So let's just go down, like, 5%. Okay, so let's go to the pearl. In a tournament setting, I don't know if I would switch to a pearl this quickly. I mean, I've only thrown like five shots with that one, six shots. Don't know if I would actually be in this ball right now, but I mean, it's worth seeing the comparison to the difference between the two right now. Just for the sake of comparing, I'm going to stay the same. And I expect this to go further, maybe not even that then. Oh, okay. Wow, just a lot of ball. Even the cover uh, doesn't really stop it from getting to the pocket, that's for sure. It's what I kind of like about the ASIMs. I find them really easy to manipulate. You can make it kind of do what you want it to do. So even though it's a cleaner cover, I can slow down, kind of get on it, and it uh, makes it there. Whereas if I was throwing a pearl symmetrical, I don't know if it would. Yep, no complaints. Let's go back to the hybrid and we're just gonna go left. Let's just do five and uh, just slow it down. See if it still makes the corner, which Anticipate it will. Oh, maybe not if I do that. Oh! <laughs> that one was me, for sure. I did not roll that one as much as I should have. It kind of spun too far right, but... So let's move five right, slow it down, and uh, see if it makes the corner. Yeah, that's good. 
Six, six, six. In these longer sport patterns, speed will definitely be your friend. I think that's what the pros kind of excel at then more than most bowlers is being able to slow their speed down and do that consistently. But we're gonna stay in the same spot. I'm just gonna make sure to keep my speed slower and not leak it right. So overall, first impressions on the hybrid is I like it. This is kind of like what I like to see out of a ball. I like strong, but somewhat cleaner cover with the big ASIM core. That's kind of my game. It's kind of a ball that I feel like I can manipulate and do what I want to do. Like on the longer pattern, I feel like I can get left and slow down. But if it was like 36 feet, a shorter pattern, I feel like it's a ball that I can get further right and just be at the back and use my speed in the other direction and throw it harder. Yeah, overall, pretty impressed with it. So let's just throw one more good one and we'll send it back to the shop. I like that. Let's send it back. All right, guys, just got done bowling with the brand new Quantum Evo Hybrid from Brunswick, bowled on a fresh 44 foot uh, challenge pattern as well as JR's typical house shot. Initial thoughts are um, how much ball this ended up being for a hybrid, um, and you could see the clear comparison versus the uh, versus the pearl this ball digs in the oil for for again for a hybrid didn't really expect that so today we did compare the hybrid with the uh, with the pearl I did also throw the solid when it first came out this ball is definitely quicker down lane than the solid obviously not as much as the pearl but it fits the gap I mean I imagine as ideally as they wanted when releasing this ball to me the solid was very slow very lopy almost like a bigger urethane and then I kind of saw a similar reaction with the pearl in my opinion where I sometimes felt like it was hard to get it to corner down lane I'd like to keep my angles a little more closed with it for a pearl ball to me the hybrid fits that gap where it didn't really feel like it was slopey or slow it felt like I could really get around it and it would corner where I didn't really feel that with the other two quantums and I know there was a slight difference in the core versus those two and that could be the, the difference maker that core combination with the the hybrid cover Personally, I'm a fan of how much I feel like I can manipulate the ball uh, and kind of just in general a big fan of hybrids asims because I feel like I can get the best of both worlds taking the kind of the quickness from a pearl but also can get up the back and slow down uh, and can kind of control it like the solid. Like I said, big fan of the hybrid asims. I think that it can fit anybody's bag. I think that the cover can adapt to the player and the controllable core of it again can can fit many games a slower player with not a lot of rev rate i think the ball is gonna yeah just clear, clear the fronts enough but also um, pick up on the oil versus if you're a higher speed higher rev rate kind of like myself that's kind of a game that can feel like it gets out of control but a ball like this really tames it down and it gets you back in, in control of the ball so when it comes to house shots again i'm a fan of uh the asim hybrids on on a house shot just because i feel like it doesn't overreact to the friction when you get it right whereas when you have a symmetrical ball or even a pearl ball in general it sometimes tends to oversee the friction and autocorrect and go through the face. The hybrid ASIM kind of meets the, 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 the in-between, the best of both worlds. So if it gets right, it stands up. If you get in the oil, I mean, we saw this ball dig through the oil when I missed left. Just a big fan of, of the hybrid ASIMs. Um, just the smoother, more controllable balls on even an easier shot, shot like a house shot. So remember to answer the question down below. Do you guys like the, the smoother ball reaction on a house shot or do you find yourself throwing something a little quicker, more symmetrical, shinier? Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments down below. Thanks again for everybody for watching. Thanks to all subscribers. Big fan of what the guys here at JR are doing. Great videos, great reviews, and they're just doing a great job uh, for the bowling community. Stay tuned, I'll be back doing some more ball videos. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Oh yeah, definitely for the rest. Oh, maybe not if I do that. Oh!